Alright guys, so now we are going to talk about the Gay-Lussac's Law. We know that Gay-Lussac's Law is an ideal gas law that is applied at constant volume. So kapag ang ating ideal gas system is operating at constant volume, pwede natin gamitin itong Gay-Lussac's Law. Well, we can visualize the Gay-Lussac's Law by using these illustrations here. So we have our first condition here and our second condition in here. So, as you can see, meron tayo ditong container with a specific volume and meron tayong specific pressure din. And then, we increase our temperature that caused our particles to move faster. So, napag-aralan natin last time that itong mga impact ng ating mga particles dito sa wall ng ating container is creating the pressure. So, therefore, when we increase the temperature, we are also increasing the pressure. So, because of that, we know that our pressure is directly proportional to temperature. So, kapag tumaas ang ating temperature, tataas din ang ating pressure. Now, introducing a proportionality constant K, we will have P is equal to K times T. Okay, so I'm going to isolate itong constant natin K because constant siya, so hindi siya nagbabago kahit na ano pa yung condition natin. So, we will have P over t is equal to our constant k. So, ang ibig sabihin, ang value ng ating p over t will not change kahit magbago pa yung ating condition. And that means, in our condition 1, in which we have pressure 1 over temperature 1, so this is equal to k, and this is still equal to the pressure 2, pressure in our condition 2, and the temperature in our condition 2, which is T2. So, this is our Gay-Lussac's law. Okay? So, now we are going to use this in solving problem para makita natin kung paano natin siya i-apply. Okay? So, this is our first problem. We have a 30 liter sample of nitrogen inside a rigid metal container at 20 degrees Celsius is placed inside an oven whose temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. The pressure inside the container at 20 degrees Celsius was at 3 atmosphere. What is the pressure of the nitrogen after its temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius? So, masyadong maraming binigay sa ating mga figure dito, ano, na mga numbers. So, kailangan matuto tayo mag-analyze, okay, ng ating problem para hindi tayo malito. So, okay, so, ang required sa atin, Sulat na agad natin yung required para alam na natin kung anong hinahanap natin. No? So, our required is the pressure of the nitrogen after its temperature is increased. Okay, so, nung tinaas natin yung temperature ng ating uh, system, okay, magbabago rin yung pressure ng ating system. So, alam natin that this is our T2, no, dahil tinaasan natin yung temperature natin up to 50 degrees Celsius. So, therefore, ang hinahanap natin is yung pressure 2. Okay, so now, isa-isa na natin yung mga given natin. So, we have here a volume of 30 liters. Okay, yung volume ng nitrogen natin. So, our nitrogen volume is equal to 30 liters. And then, this is having a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So, our T1 at our initial condition is 20 degrees Celsius. It is placed inside the oven. Okay, so, nilagay siya sa oven which is having a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, ito yung oven natin. No? In our oven, the temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. Now, the pressure inside the container at 20 degrees Celsius, so habang nasa 20 degrees Celsius siya, uh, our pressure is 3 atmosphere. So, that means that is our P1. Dahil ito raw yung kanyang pressure noong siya ay nasa 20 degrees Celsius na temperature. So, that means our pressure is 3 atmosphere. Now, ang pinahanap sa atin is yung pressure of the nitrogen after its temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius. So, yung temperature natin has been increased to 50 degrees Celsius. Okay? Kasi nilagay natin siya sa oven 
na ang temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. So, after some time, magkakaroon siya ng equilibrium dyan. So, hanggang sa ma-reach niya yung temperature na 50 degree Celsius. Now, ang tanong is, nung naging 50 degrees Celsius na yung ating temperature, ano yung kanyang pressure? Okay, so, we are operating at constant volume. Okay, so, yun pa rin ang volume natin kasi itong nitrogen natin nakalagay sa rigid metal container. So, itong buong metal container na to ipinasok natin sa oven. So, that means we are operate, operating on the same volume. Okay, so our V2 is also 30 liters. Okay, so we are operating at constant volume. Okay, so this is important because it tells us that we can apply Gay-Lussac's law. Okay? Okay, so natutunan natin sa ating previous lessons na when we are using the ideal gas laws, kailangan lahat ng temperature natin is expressed in absolute temperature. So, we are going to convert our T1 and T2 into Kelvin. Okay, so starting with T1, which is 20 degrees Celsius, we need to add 273.15. Okay, so our T1 is equal to 293.15 Kelvin. Now, for our T2, our T2 is at 50 degrees Celsius, so we need to add 273.15. So therefore, our T2 is equal to uh, 323.15 Kelvin. Okay? So now we can use our equation for Gay-Lussac's law, which is P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Okay? So, P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Now, we can substitute our values. Our P1 is equal to 3 atmosphere. Okay, so we have 3 atmosphere over our T1. Our T1 is this one, which is 293.15 Kelvin. And this is equal to our P2. So, yan ang ating required. So, unknown. Hindi natin alam yan. But, we know our T2, no? Our T2 is 323.15 Kelvin. So, 323.15 Kelvin. Okay. So, we need to isolate our P2 dahil yan ang ating hinahanap, no? So, we have P2 is equal to uh, 3 atmosphere times uh, 373.15 Kelvin because we are going to transpose that to the other side. So, 323.15 Kelvin over 293.15 Kelvin. So, as you can see, meron tayong unit na Kelvin sa numerator and denominator. So, we, should, we can cancel this out. So, ang may iwan sa ating unit is in atmosphere. So, our P2 is equal to, now we can uh, calculate for our pressure 2, no? So, we have 3 times 323.15 divided by 293.15. So, we have 3.307. Atmosphere. Okay, so this is our final answer here. Na identify na natin yung ating pressure after uh, we increase our temperature to 50 degrees Celsius. So sabi natin kanina, when we increase the temperature, our pressure also increase. So nakita natin dito, in increase natin yung temperature from 20 up to 50 degrees Celsius. So, dapat mag-increase din yung ating pressure. So, as you can see here, nag-increase tayo ng pressure from 3 atmosphere naging 3.307 atmosphere. So, it just show us that when you increase the temperature, our pressure also increase according to Gay-Lussac's law. So, now, let us solve another problem in here. No? 
So if a gas is cooled from 323 Kelvin to 273 Kelvin and the volume is kept constant, what final pressure would result in the original pressure was 750 millimeter mercury? So our required, ang kailangan nating makuha, is yung final pressure natin. Okay, so it's still, katulad nung kanina, pressure to yung hinahanap natin. No? Because we are talking about the final pressure. So, our gas is cooled from 323 to 273. So, given yung ating T1 and T2, no? our T1 is our initial condition, which is 323 Kelvin. And then, according dito, Sa ating problem, we cool it pababa sa 273.15, which means our T2 is 273.15 Kelvin. Now, our volume is constant, so therefore, we can use Galo-Sachs law. Okay? Now, our original pressure was... 750 millimeter mercury. So that means given yung ating P1. Our P1 is 750 millimeter mercury. So, ang kailangan nating makuha is yung ating P2. Ito yung ating unknown. Okay, so now we can use our galo sachs law, no? yung ating equation. Because our T1 in T2 is already in Kelvin. So we have P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Okay? So, substitute na natin yung ating mga given. Our P1 is 750 millimeter mercury. Then, over our T1, our T1 is 323.0 Kelvin. And this is equal to our P2, unknown yung ating P2, over our T2, which is 200. 73.15. Uh, so, we have 273.15 Kelvin. Na? So, we are looking for P2. So, we need to isolate that. So, we have P2 is equal to 750 millimeter mercury uh, multiplied to. So, we need to transpose this to the other side. So, it will be a numerator. So, we will be multiplying that here. So, 273.15 Kelvin over 323.0 Kelvin. So, again, as you can see, we have a unit of Kelvin sa numerator and denominator. So, we can cancel them out. So, ang may iwan sa atin is yung unit ng millimeter mercury. So, now, we can calculate for our P2. We have 750 times 273.15, then divided by 323, and this is equal to 634.25 millimeter mercury. Okay, so yan ang pinapahanap sa ating uh, dito, no, yung ating final pressure. So, this, this means that this is our final answer. Now, sabi natin, kapag tinaas ang temperature, tataas din ang pressure. So, therefore, kapag binabaan natin yung temperature, bapaba din yung ating pressure. So, in here, binabaan natin yung ating temperature from 323 Kelvin, pababa sa 273.15 Kelvin. So, dapat bumaba yung ating pressure. Our pressure is 750 millimeter mercury, bumaba siya to 634 0.25 millimeter mercury. So, this is how we solve problems involving ideal gases at constant volume. So, we can use our Gay-Lussac's law. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.